cows, chickens, and vegetables. Awesome, high five. Where are you from? Uh, North Carolina. So when you feel like it, I got some wood in the basement for you and we can make a sign that says, Olivia's Farm Fresh Eggs from New York City. New York City. And then we can make another sign that says, New Pork City for the pigs. What do you think? Okay. Okay. I don't remember which viewer it was that put in the comments New Pork City. So if that was you, leave it in the comments below and remind me. And I can't remember who told us the name New York City, but we love it. Like I said, I'm sorry guys, I'm terrible with names. Leave that down in the comments below too. We want to give you guys credit for all these awesome names. What's up, Modern Steaders? We're going to be going to the Great American Farm Tour meetup in Vermont. Woohoo! And it's a potluck. You know what we're going to bring? We're going to bring an organic, gluten-free chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. So let's get to making it. We're just going to take our dry ingredients, dump them in the bowl, add three quarters of a cup of fair trade bacon cocoa. And give that a quick little stir. We got our organic sugar in there. We got our gluten-free flour. We got a little bit of uh, baking soda and baking powder. Our eggs to it. And the secret ingredient to this, I think it's my secret. You can't get the scrap dish for the chickens. The secret ingredient for making good quality baked goods is Lovna Acres organic duck eggs. These came straight out of New York City, guys. New York City. Duck eggs are a lot tougher to break apart and scramble. So I'm just gonna give them a quick little scramble together before we add the rest of the wet ingredients. Avocado oil, it's the best. Look, avocado oil. I'll leave a link to that right here on Amazon. We buy it by a gallon jug. Stuff's expensive, but it's a lot cheaper to buy it by the gallon jug than it is to buy it in little servings. So we're gonna do a half gallon, a uh, half a gallon. We're gonna do half a cup of that. One cup of raw milk. We're gonna give this a quick little stir. Don't, you don't have to go too crazy at this point because the next step we're gonna do is gonna make everything get combined oh so nicely. This right here, guys, is the trick. A cup of boiling water. Take that, we're gonna add that right in. You wanna talk about the best moist chocolate cake and stirring it up is so easy. That hot boiling water just gets everything to combine so nicely. If you're using a mixer, make sure it's on low. It'll make a huge mess right now. We're gonna make it in a bun pan. It'll look so pretty. What you need to do now, we're using our lendered pork lard from our pasture raised pigs we raised here last year. Oh, that smells good. I'm telling you guys, this is like another key secret ingredient. Shh, don't tell everybody. So we're just gonna use a paper towel and just lightly grease the pan. All right, now we gotta put a little bit of cocoa powder in there so it don't stick either. If you got a little sifter, put your cocoa powder in there. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. And then just shake it. If you make a mess, it's okay. Just pick it up before anybody gets home. That's what I'm gonna do. Shh. Just pour the batter in. If you guys know anybody who's gluten free, a lot of gluten free people don't have cake. So if you know them, make them this cake on their birthday. They'll love you for it. We want to get every last drop of this. This stuff is so good. It's worth its weight in gold, I'm telling you. If you're at the meetup, let me know what you think. But if you don't like it, don't leave it in the comments below. <laughs> There's a lot of frosting. You could probably get away with half of it. Mm -hmm. Be excited. They've been locked up in New York City for like 36 hours now. Let's let them out and see what happens. Come on out. 
What you think of New York City? Did you like sleeping in New York City? We gotta go check on the pigs while we're right here, guys. They're just so cute and cuddly. I know you wanna see them. Good morning, Mrs. Pigs and Spots. I'm gonna go get you some food next. What are you doing? So this area right here is where we had our pigs penned off and we'd let them run out every day and we'd lock them up at night in this area. So it's loaded with manure, hay, and wood shavings. So this is going to be kind of our back to Eden garden for our squashes. So we got to finish cleaning this area up today. We got to get the IBC tote out of here. We got to take down the gate, get it out, and we'll put that up in their new area for this growing season. Are these weeds? Yep. Oh, I got some mushrooms. Wild. Wild mushrooms. Start the tractor. Push the lever up. Yep, and now pull it, push it the other way. Right. Yep. Huh? Yes. Awesome. Shut off the tractor. Huh? Shut off the tractor. Thank you. This stuff, guys, like black gold. I wish you could see it in real life. Look how black it is. That's nice. Look at it. It's just loaded with worms all throughout it. All right, modern steaders. One of the things that really excites me about this garden spot is, think about this. Last year, we raised our pigs here and on pasture. So they cleaned up our apple orchard, ate a bunch of shrubs, pooped everywhere and fertilized. And we'd lock them up at night in this spot. 
and when we weren't home. So we got a bunch of poop in one area with wood chips and shavings and hay and so this is gonna be an awesome garden spot. And I think we spent three dollars and eighteen cents or three dollars and seventy eight cents a pound for our pasture raised pork once it was all said and done. I'll link that video here. It's on our haul. But now think about it. Right now, right here, this is some awesome organic compost that we're gonna be growing our food in. So all the food that we get here is gonna be free this year. If we, uh, we think we already paid for all of our pig stuff, now they're repaying us. And we're gonna have a bunch of awesome free food. Like I was talking about in yesterday's video, if it's $10 for one organic squash at the grocery store, how many organic squashes is this area gonna grow? So how much money is that? I mean, mind blown, just think about it. It's so exciting and encouraging. That's why when I was talking in the house tour video about we overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in five and 10 years, we didn't have very many gardens last year. But this garden this year is gonna be epic from the pigs. Oh, who would have thought about it? I mean, it's crazy. And then we're raising up our future modern homesteaders. All right, guys. Right, you modern steader? Mm-hmm. Let's start eating now. These are our wonderful hosts, Andrew, Kate, Desiree. Kate. I'm here, right there. Kate and Desiree, Desiree is getting the burgers ready. So they're in tomorrow's vlog. I was here earlier, did a tour of their farm. Are people welcome to walk around and see things? Entirely. Yep. Okay. Oh, you're welcome to walk around. But if you go down to that blue chicken tractor down there on the left, you have to do a party dance. There's a requirement here. Okay, once you see the left side in front of the nice little painting, you gotta do a party dance. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about. A booty too. What are you growing? Uh, cows, chickens, and vegetables. Awesome, you high five. Where are you from? Uh, North Carolina. Right here. Did you do the banana dance? Everyone's got chickens, right? Are you the kid who does the banana dance? Start right here. You gonna do the banana dance for us? No. Why not? My daughter wants to see you do the banana dance. I want to decide. No. Okay. No. I'm doing the vlog. Are you gonna be in it too? He's in our vlog. High five. You wanna do high five? High five. That's a good one. Woohoo! With Mr. Brown. Where? Come on! You're not gonna be in the vlog? I know you! I know you too! How are we doing? <laughs> Good. We're what? Al, Livia, and Gina. We're growing chickens, pigs, ducks, and vegetables. Nice. It was nice seeing you again, Justin. We're gonna say you goodbye too, for real this time. Yes, excellent cake, my friend. Thank you. Excellent cake. I guess if we see you again, this time would be in North Carolina. I maybe. would love it. I would love All it. Right. You're welcome there anytime. Thank you. Have a good trip, guys. Thank you. We'll see you on the YouTube. Yep. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye.